Plenty Nia Kids. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna get into hope. Scott is here to teach us today. He's tall, he's super smart, and he loves Jesus. It's gonna be great. We need your help to get the video started. We're gonna count down from three and then yell. Let's go. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go! Hey everyone, welcome to uh, today's lesson that we're going to be going through. We've been doing a whole series on faith, on hope, and on love. Uh, today we are going to talk about hope. Uh, that's a word that you've probably used lots of times, and we use it for a lot of different things. For instance, you know, I hope I get a new hockey stick for my birthday. Uh, I hope that the Leafs are going to win the Stanley Cup. A bit of a far-fetched hope, but you never know. I hope it snows tomorrow. Uh, sometimes we hope for things that probably aren't gonna happen. I hope I get given $50 million by a really nice person. Probably not gonna happen. Other times we'll hope for things that are more likely to happen. I hope mom gives me a cookie for snack this afternoon. That would be great. The thing about hope in our everyday life is that we don't always know if what we hope for is gonna come true. Hope kind of flows like a river. You think about a river that you see in the forest or something like that. Sometimes it can feel like we have a lot of hope. That life is really good, that you know school's going well, and my family's doing great, and I had my favorite supper last night, and I got to play my video game today, and life's great. Other times it can feel like we don't have a lot of hope. It can feel like things are not going so great. You know, you might say, oh, I don't get to do this or I don't have that. And when we put our hope in things that are in the world, things that other people do, then our hope is going to fade. The great thing for us though, is that we get to put our hope in something entirely different. We get to put our hope in Jesus. There's always gonna be something that you'll be a little bit worried about or feel anxious about in our life. We're never gonna run out of that. Sometimes it's something like really small. Maybe you're just really hoping that your mom doesn't make your least favorite supper for dinner tonight. When I was a kid, I always hoped my mom wouldn't make lasagna. I know, it's crazy. I don't love lasagna. And I'd always go, please don't make lasagna. So sometimes we kind of hope that those kind of things, or we have those worry that those kind of things are gonna happen. Maybe it's something bigger. Maybe there's something bigger that is worrying you. Uh, it could be that someone is sick, or maybe your family is going through something difficult. Those things can play into our worries, and it can feel like we don't have a foundation or a hope to anchor onto. When we have a relationship with Jesus, though, that can be a hope that doesn't change. Let me give you an example of what hope can be like. How many of you guys know what an anchor looks like? Can you picture one in your head? I have an example here for you. Ooh, this thing's heavy. This is an anchor here. Now, what do we use anchors for? Do you guys know? That's right, you use it in a boat to make sure that the boat doesn't move. Now, if I was making an anchor, do you think it'd be smart for me to make an anchor out of paper? Nah, what do you think? What about sand? What about if I made a nice great anchor in the sandbox? Would that be something good? What about Lego bricks? Yeah, I could build a really good anchor with Lego bricks. What about candy? It has two purposes. It can hold a boat and I can eat it later. Would you make an anchor out of those things? No, I don't think you probably would. Why not? Why would you not make an anchor out of those things? Well, you wouldn't make an anchor out of those things because they wouldn't work. Can you imagine a really big boat having an anchor that's made out of paper? What happens when paper hits the water? Well, it doesn't work anymore. It breaks apart. When we make our hope into something that fades or something that isn't based on what Jesus has done for us, when things happen in our life, that hope is gonna break apart. The world will probably try and tell you that there's a lot of things you can put your hope in. Maybe things like being popular at school, or being really good at a sport, or having the coolest clothes, 
or maybe making a really funny TikTok video and lots of people liking it. Those things are all great and we can try to put our hope in those things. The problem is, is they're gonna kind of be like this here. This is a brick. It looks like a brick. However, when I start to pull it apart, you start to realize, oh, it's actually not a brick. It's made of paper. If I tried to use this as a real anchor on a boat, do you guys think this would work? Of course not. It's like the making of anchors out of paper that we talked about earlier. If I tried to make this as an anchor, when it hit the water, it would all start to fall apart. In the same way, when we try to put our hope into things that are not what Jesus has done for us, that are not based on him, when stuff happens in our life, and it is gonna happen, our hope or our anchor is gonna start fading. It's gonna start breaking apart. And then we go, wow, that actually wasn't a really good anchor. So we're gonna get rid of that anchor and we'll get rid of that anchor. What should we put our hope in? We should put our hope in the anchor of Jesus. The great thing about putting our hope in Jesus is that he never changes. He's gonna be there no matter what. Hebrews 6 verse 19 says this, we have this hope as an anchor for our soul, firm and secure. Do you know what the author is talking about there? The author is saying that Jesus is our hope because Jesus never changes. It doesn't matter what's happening in your life right now. It can feel like things are falling apart or you don't have a reason to be happy or hopeful. But when we remember that we have Jesus as our anchor, that anchor won't change. If a boat is in a storm, what does the anchor do? Does the anchor make the storm go away? If the sailors drop this anchor into the ocean, does the storm right away go away? Of course not. The storm keeps happening. But the great thing is that the boat stays secure. Just like putting the anchor in the water doesn't stop the storm immediately, Putting our hope in Jesus won't necessarily make our life better immediately. But we know that when our hope is in Jesus, it's going to be secure and it will keep us safe and grounded. Sometimes when life can feel really hard for me, what I like to do is think about the things that I can be thankful for. At my house with my kids every night, we always go around the supper table and we each talk about something that we're thankful for. Sometimes it's really thank really simple. I'm thankful I got to play my Mario Kart 8 today. It's one of the things my kids will say. Sometimes it's I'm really thankful for a warm house. Sometimes it's I'm really thankful for my family. When I do that, when I think about the things that I'm thankful for, it helps me remember that I do have a hope that Jesus has given me so many great things. And the thing that I'm most thankful for is that Jesus is in my life and that he never leaves me, that he never forsakes me and that he's always gonna take care of me. So my encouragement for you guys today, maybe once this video is done, go around your living room and talk about the things that you're thankful for. And you know what will happen? I'm willing to bet that you'll start to smile, you'll start to laugh, and you'll start to feel just a little bit more hope because you know that Jesus has you and that he's taking care of you.